we are going to be using a tool in Access that will analyze the table and it will actually split the table into two if it violates normalization rules. So what we're going to do is first take a look at the table. So let's look at parts. And you'll notice that we have supplier repeating in our table. Not a whole lot else in there, so let's close that. And then we're going to go into the database tools tab and we're going to use the analyze table command. Okay, so you're supposed to read this information. So duplicating information can cause problems and we do have that situation. So let's click on next. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to look at the information and potentially split our table into two. And the one that has the repeating fields in our case is the parts table. And then here it says, do you want the widget to decide what fields go into in what tables? I would leave it on yes, because that's why you're in the wizard. And here's what it is suggesting. Okay, where you have a unique identifier and the supplier, and then you would have that identifier over in your first table. So what it wants us to do basically is name these tables. So we're going to double click on table one. And let me bring this over here because it opened in the other window. Uh, so what we're going to name table one is parts and costs. Okay, and then we're going to rename table two. Now you can double click or you can single click and you can click on edit. I don't know why I'm getting that weird little error, but we will ignore it. Okay, so now we've named our tables. I'm going to click on next. And they want to know if the primary key is being identified. Well, obviously it is identified here, but it's not being identified over here. So we do need to turn on the key next to part number because that is the unique identifier in that table. So what this screen is asking basically is do you want a query created? Um, what the query will do is display a data sheet that is identical to the original table. And then any forms, reports, or queries that were based on that parts table, the original table, will still work because they will use the query. So you should keep this on yes. Otherwise, you may have forms and reports that will no longer work. So let's click on finish. You can see it renamed our old table and what we're looking at right now is the query okay, which is identical to that old table but we also have our new parts and costs table and we should also see parts suppliers yep so this is how it looks And let's go back over here. Okay, so it's using the name. We've got a drop down list. And then if we come over, 
into design view, we can take a little closer look at that. Yeah, so it is basing, basing this on ID, even though it is showing the text, it is basing this on the actual ID itself, okay, rather than the text, because the text is not unique, but the ID is. So even over here, this is the primary key. So when we're over in parts and costs, what it's storing is that key value, but what it's displaying is the text, because the text is more user-friendly. And let's take a look at our parts query here. Uh, you will notice that we have uh, the supplier name displayed twice, which actually looks kind of silly. So we are going to fix that. Let's go over to design view. So basically one is coming from the new table and then it's got the one from the original supplier field. So it's the second one here that we're gonna delete. So I'm just going to select it, right click and cut. And then let's go ahead and save and then we can run it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and best fit my field widths. And you don't really need to worry about printing anything. At this point, we're just going to close.